reaching us on WhatsApp. So if you want to come through and be a part of the program, do get to do that and uh, make your submission as short as possible so that you don't spend a lot of time on the line. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you. Good morning, my friend. You're well today. Wonderful. Talk to us. Wonderful. Mr. Yes, sir. Now, no, it's under new government. President, that is Zikomo, Eh, but what's the me to be happy for my vision there all right so let's allow um so about about two more calls then we can uh, throw in the voice notes as well and uh, see if we can let uh, my guests respond to your uh, concerns that you're raising or your your uh, issues that you're bringing bring uh, bringing to this particular platform here zero nine double seven six two four two seven zero that's the number that you are getting us on good morning hello good morning Eugene. good morning to you sir how are you today I'm okay. Good morning, uh, President. Good morning, sir. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm uh, Jimmy here. All right, Jimmy. Good to have you here. Talk to us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, President Kalinda. Yes, sir. I've got uh, a great respect for you. You've got what? My article is that I think don't just talk about this thing. What is critical for you is to mobilize your political party. If there is one person who has really hurt me when you move out of fear, it is you, Prezo. But uh, I was disappointed in the 2020 election. You were busy putting it in for presidents. And you got to Campaigning for them from one place to another. And what happened? You were a word. Hands down. You know what I mean? And the human is up like that. Even though I'm talking about your political party. You are still good with me for fear. Come on, Dana Galinda. Are you a man of great integrity? Please, can you take the treating for fear? Do you want to see? Do you want to know where your party is telling your feet and your structures? All right, Jimmy, thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. your submission there. Uh, let's see if we can uh, also bring in the quick WhatsApp voice notes, uh, which we have also a number of them. Uh, it will just be fair for us to obviously get to allow our friends as well that are on WhatsApp uh, to voice out. It is always very encouraging to, to listen to you, Bakalimba. God bless you. You are so to spot. You call anything what it is. 
you don't change direction because of this and that. No, you are very principled. I like the way you carry your politics. I just hope, and I w- always wish to say, Zambia can have a chance to have a president like you. The system can be cleaned. You having too much experience in local government and and uh, even in central government. You are the most qualified person to lead this country. All this mess that we are seeing around can only be collected by you, a principled leader, somebody who has, who is full of integrity. I wish you the best, Comrade Kalimba. I intend to to visit your office very soon. Yeah, <laughs> Because you know selfish leaders very much it out. Vanzano wa tingeko drama before wakari moe wakari pekufa imo mukambati civili pino. Ma yes civili pino guani because ni tengera tu drama zanga ine before ni kari peku mwali na tenga kwa twenty percent. Maybe murungani songa pino footi ni kapa ni sama ezi o tengera mo yara sti footi na tenga zanga. Chai papa atimaje. Ii mwe mufu na cheo uti mtu. Asa tenge ndrama zizingo nkara kuna kushakuja. Sika lila chani. Ni zanga ni nasi lenzira kai. Sini seven nza ndi nerova. Ni nashita itaya. Veni ni karipo kwa nisa mebi. Siki stefaivi. Ni ni nafote something. Veni ni mufu nuko tenga ndrama zanga. Veni ni atenga futi kuli mwe chaipa. Mapu ni mwripuwa jiganchi kwa opposition ni mamu zambi. Ah, that's why I think a double because if you ban Vaguti Secretary General, the President, the Youth German, the Chani, no cancer, then you can wear a parade your Mungo Panga I think before Mugari Ponyam, Gauchoga, Manuba, and Gambera Parade, your Muzi Zivati, Pamenian Dos, as near those of Anavanga, Nuzaban to a mini Bankara Muzik or Zambia. Got to get a chain of interest, Yavanabako, Navazukuru Bako, Uber and Nayo Paradio, Hitchmiz in Ishi, Sukanza Gunobino, but in a two guns and Mamene Iri, Mamene Iri, Zambia, right now, but he things is not going well, but he things are not going well. Drama, so that he in drama, most situation is your neck, in Momoko or SATI. Eh? Then you are busy blaming, blaming English at you know what's a little bit of a visual, but you yourself you are talking in English. Mukamba visual, what was so? Nish of family Mukamba and Vijay. Ah, good morning, Mr. Jini, and uh, good morning to you, President Mitakavimba. This is person to the voice of Chipangari, uh, talking to you direct from Lusaka, Zambia. Ah, Mr. Gawimba, we've been following you here and there. You had your own party, you registered your own party, an important political party that will bear no fruit. You even know yourself that no one can vote for you. You don't even trust yourself. How could you, uh, how could you expect someone, someone to, uh, to trust you? Your politics, Mr. Winter Kalimba, is a bitter politics. And I don't know if I'm going to Instead of helping your friend to work properly, he's not my to friend. organize this country, he's oh, not sorry. doing sorry, he's that for, their, for his scandals or his own children, but he's doing <laughs> this for the grand and grand grandchildren. <laughs> so, which picture are you showing to, your, to, 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 to the Zambian people or to your children? How do you want your your grandchildren to live and which legacy are you living for grandchildren because you need to work with your colleagues you as politicians because you are the father the parents of this nation so if you continue and continue not cooperating with your friends with your colleagues then you don't love this country and you don't you, you, you don't mean well to this particular country mr winter kalimba 
Neri omwebe neta mwana chinge si nari ya nani kani si nari ya nukutiri fi bagunta kabimu. Why are you changing like you are a chameleon from one color to another color? Eh? That means that you don't trust yourself by changing the name of your party into another name, which means you don't trust yourself. How now? How do you expect us to trust you? Tamakawi name. When I muti tesha tamakawi. The last time you told me that I'm coming from the Congo forest. Which Congo forest? This is just political, Mr. Winter Kavimba. This is politics. Politics, you respect someone's views. I mean, when you are contributing, we respect someone's views. Mr. Winter Kavimba, sit down and resolve any issue, any problems concerning your party. That's when you can inform this country. And I don't think if you become the president, you are just making noise. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, obviously, I'll hold it a bit there. Uh, th three voice notes, three calls. Uh, I'll bring you in, President Kevin. Let me let me let me tell you this. Let me tell the voice note people. I have contributed to this country more than all of you ever contributed to this country. Mm. I have contributed to this country more than HH has ever contributed to this country. Okay, so even if I don't become president of this country, my contribution will still be over and above what HH has contributed. So that I have to register. So when you want to debate, and I wish you know it had not been a voice note, you know, we are having a discourse. I said, I did not condemn the NAPSA partial withdrawal. I was debating its consequences in the long term. That's what I was saying. I was not condemning the NAPSA partial withdrawal. I was talking about the consequences which you, the beneficiaries today, may not be aware of. That's the point I was making. And also let me tell you, HH is not my friend. He is not my father, as Eugene puts it here. He's just a citizen of this nation. And I'm a citizen of this nation. And if you think that I'm going to bootleg HH, you are wrong, sir. Or sirs. You are wrong. You are very wrong. Then you are dealing with a different winter. I've never bootlegged anybody. I speak my views. You may not agree with me. But I'll tell you what I think. You are the same people saying today that you will never be president. That's what you used to say about HH. That's what you used to say about Michael Sad. So I've listened to that language before. I've listened to that language before. The point I'm making is that this is not a one man's country. I respect all of you, my colleagues, my fellow citizens, that think that HH is the best thing that has ever happened to this country. I respect you. I respect you. But even where you are seated there, I can tell you that you are still suffering. In the last two years, I don't think that your life has changed any better. HH's life has changed. He's able to fly out now every week. He was not able to do that before he became president. So who is enjoying between you and HH? So you can continue praising him. But I can tell you that he, the man is just he, throwing you into more and more suffering. Muziva ulupamene muri hapo. Na muishiva. It has not changed in the last two years. So what are you what are you what are you happy about? Your children are still suffering. I'm simply advising you, you can take my advice or throw it away. I'm not pushing it down your throat. I'm just advising you. I have more experience than HH in government. More experience. 15 years in local government, 
two years, you know, in the, in the public service, like the caller said, 17 years. What experience does the judge have in government? What experience does he have in, judge, in government? Don't you see that uh, things are in a mess because of lack of experience? So let's debate. Those of you that are sending voice notes, call so that we can, uh, we can debate. All right, talking about calling, let's see if we can uh, allow uh, the last state of calls in. Uh, uh, what city is it? Yeah, tell <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. Yes, my video. Yes, you are through to live radio. So share with us your name and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is Kitwe Sisese. I'm calling from Kitwe. All right, uh, good to know that Kitwe is listening. Talk to us. Sir. How are you, Mr. Kabimba? I'm fine, I'm fine, sir. Okay. Mr. Kabimba, don't worry about those people that are saying you will never be the president of this country. I'm not even worried about them. Yeah, those people, they are actually hungry. They can even afford to buy a bag of milk. So basically, they are very much disappointed about what they were promised by the current president that we have in this country. So we have to assure that Zambia is ready, and you are the only experienced person that we have so far who can help run this country effectively. Now, the issue that I want to do to contribute to this program is that no matter how many trips that President H is going to make to go to the West. There's no solution that is going to come from there to make sure that this country gets back to a better economy. No. If he wants, he can even ship the whole set out to go to America or to go and plant it there in the UK. And we will see if this economy is going to be lifted up, if the lives of the people of these Zambians are is going to be changed. It is not going to bring any solution at all. So they are basically wasting their time thinking that IMF is going to resolve the solution of this country. We know you are the only person together with the economic class that has got a better solution. Who believes in the Zambian people? Zambian people have the capacity to run their own economy. Zambia, Zambia as a nation has got the resources that can help us deliver it from this zero drum. Not what the, uh, what the UK and the government has been preaching. It is not going to have, because we have worked so this back before. It has not helped us. And Zambia is not the only country that has ever gone to Ireland. We have just given them the example of Argentina. What is so special about IMF that was brought into the IMF that is going to help this country? No, it is not going to help this country at all. The last part is that I want to contribute that is. It's very surprising that the UK now is running business, giving businesses from state out. So if as a Zambian businessman you have a leading company or you have any business and you want to do business with the government, it looks like it's going to be very practically impossible for you to get a business deal from government because now we have seen it for ourselves that if the president now who is giving instruction who to give names, it is the president who is giving instruction who to give business. It is a president who is giving instruction who is supposed to be helped in this country. That's why even the CDF issue is not going to work out. So many doctors people have applied for CDF. It is not bringing any solution. People are still complaining on the ground here. Right. Now we have seen if the president together with the ministers, they are the one by to me at the phone, Muma Kona, Valanda, Zoom, Valanda, okay, who what more about these people who are on the ground in mass culture? This is exactly what they are, they are doing. So, Mr. Kabimba, this is up. You people that they are listening, you understand how the world economy is constructed. You understand the challenges that we have in this country. Don't listen to these people who are angry. Thank you very much. All right, we much appreciate uh, your submission there. Uh, and uh, we do have a text here, which is uh, more like a reminder, uh, saying, uh, I want uh, President Kabimba to comment on uh, the president mo not moving to state house. Okay, he's going to respond to that. Uh, let's see if we can uh, allow the last core and uh, wrap up this morning's edition of uh, Live Issues. You're through to Live Radio. Good morning. Good morning. 
He can't move to state house, and there was there was also a question there. He can't move to state house because he's using his house to conduct the business there. Simple. He can't move to state house because you see, his house is not a, a presidential or residence. So access to that house is controlled by him, not by the state. It's controlled by him, not by the state. If he went to Nkwazi House, access to Nkwazi House is controlled by the state, not by the occupant in the name of president. So what is clear to me is that HH is not head of state to run this country. He's head of state to enhance his business interests. That's why he's flying out every day. He couldn't afford to do this before he became president. He couldn't afford to do this. Now, he's using Zambia, Zambia's taxpayers' money to enhance his business interest. That's what he's doing. That's why he can't get to Nkwazi House. Okay? It is as simple as that. So, we all need to understand. That's why you see him I like uh, uh, what our colleague said. That's why you see him, you know, getting involved even in, 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 in the supply of maize. Supply of maize. Head of state is talking to the minister. Why haven't you given this miller maize? President. Is there no system that deals with this? And the problem that he himself caused by saying that millers must must mill the maize and, and export to Congo to Congo because he, they are in business, he caused it himself. And I like you know the comment that he, all these praise singers they can't even afford a bag of millimeter. 
They can't afford the bag of minimum. But they are just the UPND. Because UPND for them is, the, you know, a religious denomination. If you don't belong to UPND, you commit a sin. That's what they are. Because anybody with an open mind today, I can't see them go and attempt to buy a bag of minimum at 220 kwacha and still think that the UPND and the HH are the best of things that have ever happened to this country. People can't afford the, you know, the minimum. I said it earlier, that go and ask those people that are getting partial withdrawals, what in God's name would you do with 3,000 kwacha? And somebody is saying, you know, you can get to Ndarama Zanga, you know, you get it. Let's be reasonable as Zambians. You know? There is, there is just no minimum available now, Eugene. But even when you find it, it's expensive. And it will get worse this year because of the bad crop. So if you belong to UPND as a religious sect we don't expect you to see the wrong because you have a pastor like the one who is in Kenya who is telling people to starve to death and when you become so indoctrinated to that level you can't see anything beyond the church people are starving in the name of religion in Kenya People are starving here because they can't find the minimum. And you are worried about uh, why Rainbow Party changed its name from Rainbow to Economic Front. How does that change, you know, how does that bring a bag of minimum in your house? How does it bring a bag of minimum in your house? How does it, you know, go, oh, give you money to go and get cooking oil? My church is changing the complexion, man. He is not, he's looking lighter than he looked. He couldn't even afford to buy lotion, even as he claims to be rich. Today, the complexion has changed. He's better to HH in complexion than he was before he became president. So who has benefited between you who voted for him and him? It's himself. And you continue praise singing, you know, oh, the man who is telling you, go and get a center pivot. Center pivot on one acre. Do you know how a center pivot looks like? Mm. The average peasant in this country cultivates an acre or two acres at the most. Which center pivot can you put in on that two acres? Mm. And if you, if, you, if you need a center pivot, you need a bowl mm. to pump water, to drive the, the center pivot. Yeah. So, and electric. what are all these jokes, you know, coming from a head of state? And some of the citizens must be saying, oh, you know, oh. Let's, let's, let's get serious. You are going to starve to death with your belief in, in HH. The man is a disaster. You may not want to hear this, but Buana, that is the reality. Amwami Kalenga, Thank you very much. You sound like one who has been baptized. At least now you are seeing the truth. Keep it up, my brother. All right, President Kamimba, I, I need to let go of you. How I wish I would sure. have gone beyond this time. But hey, we need to let you go for other you know, engagements that you have. I must say thank you so much for making it to the program this morning. Thank you, Eugene, and uh, you have a nice day. Thank you very much, all of you listeners.